Although current scrub procedures vary among facilities, a five-minute scrub at the beginning of the surgical day is most commonly used. The purpose of this section is to describe the five-minute scrub. It is important that operating room personnel develop a routine that assures they follow the rules of asepsis and sterile technique throughout the workday. Personal needs should be attended to before the scrub. If you have already scrubbed and then realize you need to use the restroom, you will have to re-scrub. A hair cover and mask must be donned before the scrub. All hair, including facial hair, must be contained. And the mask must cover the nose, mouth, cheeks, and chin. To preserve the sterility of the surgical setup, gown and gloves must be opened before beginning the scrub. Open the outer wrap of the sterile gown and towel pack to provide a sterile field on which to drop the gloves. Open the outer package of a pair of appropriately sized sterile gloves and drop the inner package of the gloves onto the sterile field beside the gown. The gown and towel must not touch the edge of the field but must be placed so that it can be grasped and picked up without dripping water onto the gown or gloves. Check that dispensers of scrub supplies are full and ready for use. Operating room uniform scrub tops normally have short sleeves. However, if longer sleeves are being worn, they must be rolled up at least three inches above the elbows prior to scrubbing. Remove any and all jewelry, including wedding bands. Many people who work in the OR routinely leave all jewelry safely at home. Check fingernails for excessive length or rough or torn edges that could damage your gloves. If necessary, trim or file so that the nails are short and smooth. Now it is time for the actual scrub. Operating room scrub sinks are equipped with foot pedals, knee or elbow controls, or motion sensors that allow water to be turned on and off without using the hands. AORN recommends that the scrub begin with washing your hands and forearms to the elbow with an approved surgical scrub agent and water to remove superficial dirt and bacteria, always keeping elbows bent with your hands held above them. Some scrub brushes come pre-saturated with solution, others do not. Regardless, the scrub itself is the same. In this program, we will demonstrate two techniques of performing the traditional one brush scrub. The first technique is to scrub one hand and arm and then the other. The second technique is to alternate scrubbing one hand, then the other hand, then one arm, then the other arm. Some nurses and facilities prefer one technique over the other. We will start with the first technique. 